Good morning, happy switch up Saturday. I was poking on my eyebrows because <laughs> I had to go to a eyebrow wax appointment here in about like 15, no, I'm off, within, within the hour. So I just got to get there 15 minutes early is why that's on my, my, my mind, but I got to get this done relatively quick, but you'll see me come back later and probably an outfit change. Um, but anyway, intro, switch out Saturday. Um, trying to be positive trying to be positive but i I'm, i just had you know i've been having a week weeks so i'm gonna make one comment about um work which has been the source of my not so pleasant um ness the last month or so be kind as craig says just be kind because you don't know how you're going to affect somebody else. I realize you, you've moved on to greener pastures and are happy and just want to get out, but you know, you leave some folks behind and just be, just be kind. Just, just be kind. So enough, moving on. <laughs> All right. So real quick, uh, nails, the, these didn't last long. The, uh, started to chip really early on. I mean, there's still kind of some remnants of the, um, polish, but Unfortunately, these glitters can um, chip pretty easily and because of the texture, unless you put a really thick coat of top coat on them, they don't last very well and it's it just kind of hit and miss. And so with my nails, they the top coat actually contributes to their peeling very easily so I put a top coat on to stop the the grittiness the gritty feel and that just started it making it want to lift and before I knew it like a whole nail had peeled off and it's just yeah well much as I love them and they're beautiful it just uh was not a very successful week with this particular shade all the how pretty it is and I didn't feel like putting a whole nother coat on so I just kind of ended up cleaning up the best I could. I mean, granted, I have to do a better job, but we're going to go somewhere else this week and hopefully be, um, you know, yeah, anyway, get, get on with ourselves. So nail polish told you about the, yeah, <laughs> just won't, won't go there. I just got a little notification on my YouTube studio that it's my channel's birthday. I didn't know it was my channel's birthday. I had no idea because when I go on like my about, it talks about when I joined YouTube um, as a user, which was like in 2010, 2011. So I've been on, I've been watching YouTube for, you know, ever. And I know that I created like my first video in like a, the summer of, I think it was either 20. 19 or 2020 and I only did like one or two videos so it wasn't and it was just you know a couple of just random things here and there I want to say it was 2019 because I was still in my other house yeah I'm pretty sure it's 2019 anyway and it was before the you know situation that <laughs> brought us all in the house um so um, it said that was my channel's birthday. So the anniversary of when my first upload went up and I was just like, oh, I probably should talk about that. So it's been it's been some years and it's been a slow, slow churn to get folks um, subscribed. You know, we're just a little bit of everything here. And I, I just really appreciate everybody hanging out with me. Anyway, I just wanted to say it real quick. Um, but real quick, I wanted to talk about, I mentioned ordering alt, uh, fragrances. The order just came yesterday and I wanted to, um, show y'all it came in a rather, um, but so kind of a bubble mailer, not too fancy. And then it just comes in these really plain boxes and oddly no marking, whatsoever on the box to tell me which fragrance is which so that is a little odd to me just directions thank you for buying all that stuff so I know I'd purchased um 
the two Tom Ford cherries. Yeah, so Cherry Fire is supposed to be Cherry Smoke. And then um, I think Electric Cherry. I can't remember the third one. I think they're all Tom Fords, but let me, let me open them up real quick. Yeah, so that one is Electric Cherry. And then the last one, let's see. Oh, Tom Ford has a new one called, and I'll maybe have to bleep this out, Vanilla Special Time. <laughs> Sexy Time, whatever. Vanilla Sex is what it's called. Um, and I'm just really intrigued to know what that smells like. So um, that, this is, I want to go up to Nordstrom and see if they have this in stock. Um, and then these ones as well. I want to go and try them all out. I'm very, very intrigued. So they had a really good sale. It was a, um, their normal price is three for $99 for the, for a set of three, whatever fragrances you want from their website. And then for Labor Day, they had a 20% off, I believe it was. So all three of these ended up being $79 for them so for the you know for dupes that's not too bad of a price and i believe these are one ounce it? yeah one fluid ounce 30 ml bottles of them so i'm going to try them out once they um once i have the actual originals like at least either a card or hopefully they're nice up at nordstrom and give me some little um sample vials up there. Usually the gal up there, um, at least that was the gal when I used to go up there, um, had been very kind and was able to give me some samples. But if not, you know, whatever, I'll just take a little um, swatch on a, a card and bring it home and and uh, kind of test it the best I can that way. Although I prefer to test it on my on my arm, but I wanted to talk about that. But we'll go over to the, um, I still have a few minutes, so I can probably do my fragrances. Well, we'll see. Whatever. It will be some kind of timeline. You will see me record <laughs> the fragrances of the week, the new nail polish that we'll pick out. Um, we'll talk about the bag um, of the week, swap out, whatever time of day that ends up being. And then we'll wrap it up at the end after I get this taken care of because these need some help. So I will talk to you in a few. Okay, so I put my flash on because I don't want to turn on the overhead light. Just, I don't know, just feel like, <laughs> feel like doing this. So indulge me. Um, it's been a rather um, successful, I guess, week. I used everything, so that's successful. Um, we had one really kind of rainy day, so got out the Cafe Tuberosa for that. So that was exciting. Um, I anticipate using this more um, as we get colder, but I'm going to go ahead and put her back. Um, everything else, we um, used at least once. I tried this one a couple of times because I wanted to give it a good um, you know, use and it's, it's a lovely scent for this time of year. Definitely more herbaceous and rich. Um, so that the basil really comes out, um, on that scent. It's not as lime heavy as I had hoped it would be. I really love lime. Lime is like my favorite. Uh, yeah, the basil was kind of overpowering, I guess would be the best way to describe it, but it's not bad. It's it's just not um, my favorite, um, but it's fine. It's fine. And of course, Words Agency Salt, love it. Love the Danelle Sky. Loved me some House of Siage um, Wonder Woman. And FYI, uh, they're having a really good sale right now. I think it's still happening. It, I at least got an email yesterday that the Mickey, let me bring Mickey down real quick. Mickey and Minnie are $198 right now, which is about half price. Um, I believe the updated version of Wonder Woman is $209. Uh, the cap is more like the um, old school Wonder Woman, Woman um, outfit, I guess, the red, white, and blue. Um, so if you're interested in cupcakes, the whispers are on good sale. 
I can't remember how what all is on sale, but they have some mystery vaults happening. And that's how I got the majority of my collection. Uh, the only one I bought full price was Wonder Woman. And I got this one full price. My husband bought it for me for Christmas. Um, and then he bought me a backup at discount. So this one was full price, but the other one I have, I only paid, um, or he only paid, excuse me, I believe to a little over 200 for it. So they're, they're expensive. Don't, don't get me wrong. They're, they're way, I mean, they're, I think they're great, um, show pieces, the fragrances for on me last quite a long time. The fruitier gourmands are a little less um, potent, I guess is the word to describe it. But I find that this one is incredibly, um, as they say, sillage. The sillage on the fragrance is very nice. Um, these also last, and this one lasts an incredibly long time. It's very similar to... Um, Passion de l'Amour also. All of the really um, spicy scents, just the ouds, the ouds like just stick on you. So if you, if fragrance does not last on you and you like ouds, you probably should try House of Siage because they just keep going for days. Um, you, in fact, scrubbing it off is, is actually kind of a chore. So you have to really like that fragrance <laughs> if you want to go there. But um if you if you want a fragrance that's last, those they're they're pretty potent. I believe the only place you can actually try them in store is Neiman Marcus, but I might be wrong. I think Saks might have had these at some point, but um, there's no place local to me to try them, so I'm just stuck ordering them. But if you want some of these, they are on sale right now, so check out their website. So I'm going to put all these back and pick out something for the upcoming week. Okay, so I picked out a kind of eclectic mix, I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to keep wood, sage, and sea salt out because I kind of feel like I need to have a spa-like scent on the tray. Um, and this, this, along with cactus garden, seem to be my go-to, like, when I need to feel comfort, clean. That That kind of just has to be... Where are you focusing? There we go. It has to be something I need to go to every week. So we're going to go with uh, Wood Sage and Sea Salt for the spa scent, uh, Vanilla Diorama for the vanilla of the week. And then since I talked about lime, um, we're going to pull out Pacific Lime from Atea Cologne, which is a lovely clean lime. That moves over to where we pulled out uh, Disney, Mickey. And I, I'm actually thinking, I'm talking myself into possibly buying the mini that's on sale. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm, I'm kind of, 198 doesn't seem like a bad, I know, I know. Like that just seems like a lot of money to spend on a perfume, but it's a beautiful bottle. I'll insert a picture of it. It's, it's quite beautiful. And then last but not least, uh, we're going to try the cherry dupe from uh, Finery, not another cherry. Test that out, see how close that is um, on skin to the original Tom Ford. And we will try this out for the week. So that is our tray. As we mentioned, fail. So we're putting that back. And it's spooky season almost. So where are we going? What are we doing? I have to go to work this week. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Uh, it's an in office, literally tons of people type of week. So I think we're going to do nightshade. I'm going to do a dark purple. This reminds me of the, I'm going to shake this off over here. Why is this separating? This is relatively new. Oh, um, this reminds me of my YSL clutch that I just showed this last week. So we're going to go here and wear a cream. Okay. We're swapping out of the satchel and I really enjoyed carrying this bag. She's really cute. It's a great green color especially for Oregon. Um, wonderful leather, just really beautiful. 
Um, I could go with, you know, a, probably a whole wardrobe of this style bag. Just really, really nice quality. So um, I didn't find this too fussy at all. Um, I know a lot of folks kind of have a problem with it. I mean, I guess if anything, I wish they had maybe sewn this part right here together so that the zipper could come down. And that's the only thing I would say that this needs to maybe be a better bag. But other than that, that's really the only bad thing about this bag. But I think it's really a nice um, purse. I've got so much crap. I've got the seats. I've just got crap all over in there. So I'm going to empty this all out, get everything out, and get the bag of next week picked out and we will swap into it. I'm going to bore you to tears with my bag of the weeks that I've chosen. I'm going into my extra large burrow because I have to go to work this week into the office and spend the whole day there, take a computer and then travel to a couple of different locations. So I made a go ahead and just go into a monstrously large bag load it all up with everything I need and then be able to slot the computer in there when I have to actually go into the office. But it seems ridiculous to get such a big bag out for, you know, the week when it's only one day, but you never know. Things might pop up. I might need to go in more than once and it just might as well because, you know, with the staffing changes we've had, I don't know what's happening right now. So anywho, um, this is going to be the bag. You've seen me load up a burrow, burrow before. So that is not what I'm going to focus on, but I am going to change. Surprisingly, I'm going to swap out of my Felici card holder. I'm going to bring out this Epi wallet that I don't think I've ever used. And if I have, I might have used it once. Um, I've had it, I think it's called the Port Documents. I can't remember. I've had it so long. Um, small little LV right there. It's almost brittle. It's been folded up for so long. But um, card slots here, slip pocket, like little pouchy pocket there. Um, another slip pocket back here. And then you can put cash here. And I've had this cash rolling around in my purse loose. It's time. It's time to use an actual wallet for a little while. It's not too big of a wallet. Um, it's actually a little less wide, so it will still fit in some of my smaller bags. Um, I'll just need to swap out of it if I do any walks, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna put everything into here real quick. Okay, couldn't fit every card in here, but I don't use, this is a bank that I, it just has savings. I don't use it very often, that card. So I'm gonna leave it home. And then a credit card, I, I don't go to that store very often. So I'm gonna leave it home. Um, so all the cards that I regularly use are with me. Um, didn't wanna throw the, the extra cards back here. I just didn't feel comfortable. I ended up putting my cash in the pocket little snap pocket, left this for receipts, and then I didn't use the, um, and I don't know why I don't usually use the billfold area, but just my little thing, little quirks that I have. So now there is my wallet. So let's see, I want to keep this slip area for the computer. Um, let's just everything for space. I could throw a small child in here. Literally. So I will have like at least two compartments just for work stuff. I will throw my badge in here so that it's ready to go. AirPods. Yeah, I mean, they're, I've only used like two slots 
I've got this whole one here for the computer. I've got this whole one here. I'm not even unzipped yet for more work stuff. Oh, I didn't even unzip this one. So two whole zipped ones that I haven't used yet for work. And then this one right here, there's, I, I probably could bring my entire office with me. So it's way more bag than I need for the week, but it, oh, put off the phone. So the phone could go anywhere, but I'm going to keep it with my wallet. So right here, more than enough room. There is a strap for it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on because I think this is going to be just for the weight of it going to be required to ease my back at some point. And it slots very easily into the center. Slouchy, perfect, fabulous. And this will also prompt me to spend some time moisturizing it whenever I have downtime. Front of mine. Yep. Yeah, perfect. This will be my bag of the week. It's massive. I'm going to fix up my, my mess I've made over here. I'm back. They pushed back my appointment again. I'm going to have to like make a different time or get a different esthetician or I don't know what's going on, but it seems like I don't have an appointment there. <laughs> I can't make my time. So anywho, um, whatever and no big deal. So I did my nails in the lovely color of nightshade and it's a little bit darker actually than I remember. So, or I grabbed the wrong one. I might've grabbed the wrong one. So this is the right color. It's just, um, I think I was confusing it with party of one purple, which is a more like this tone of purple my keyboard per color purple. So this is fine. This is, this is fall vibes. This is very much what, um, you know, we're going into. So like him, like it. So how am I going to end the, the week? I'm trying to be more positive. Okay. This is, this is the positive thing. I don't know about you guys, but, um, I'm fascinated and I'm enthralled. I'm, I'm loving, I'm living for the, um, on Instagram, the reels, and I'm sure it originated on TikTok, but I don't do TikTok. So um, the fabulous marketing, the Gen Z marketing um, things where it's like incredibly um, refined voices from England, like high clear class. <laughs> I forget the zoo, but these wonderful older um, British folk, you know, talking about their organization with um, Gen Z terms and then they're like, slay <laughs> and got the assignment. Oh my God, it's killing me. It brings me so much joy. <laughs> like between that and then following all the pugs that I follow on Instagram, that's the only thing that makes me live at this point. But I don't know if you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, if you have and you're enjoying it, you know, give me a, I'm just, I'm living for them. So if you've seen other ones, you know, tag me on Instagram and show them to me. I'm, I'm dying for them. I think they're fabulous. They're, they're, they just give me so much joy. So that is how I'll end this week. It was quite pleasant to see them as they come across the feed. Um, anyway, I hope your next week goes incredibly well. I hope that you find joy in whatever it is that you do. And thank you for listening to me, joining me, and being part of what I do here, what we do. And let me know what you're carrying this week. I'm curious. I want to know if you're, <laughs> you're crazy like me and put yourself in a giant bag for no good reason. But, you know, it's a bag. We're, we're, we're using all of our bags. So I will see you next week. Take care.